Hey guys, I hope you're good. Welcome back. Just did this video, had to cancel because wow, somebody is dying. Hey, mommy, this, hey, mommy, that. That's why I never do videos at this time of the day because wow, the drama. So, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a warm evening. I was just saying that you know, winter does not want to leave us alone. I don't know why it wants to just we're probably good people that winter really enjoys being with us because it's been long it feels like forever that we've been in winter <laughs> i hope i'm the only one who thinks this has been so long because wow i do not want to do winter anymore so um thank you so much for tuning in i wanted us today to talk about something that i think is so critical for us um uh women that are wanting and doing the most to make sure that we take care of ourselves and we take care of those around us so i wanted us to talk about the powerful woman and what that is uh, i mean in my life for the past probably seven to eight years or maybe just ten i've had people come to me like all the time and say, oh, but you are so powerful. Oh, but you are so powerful. And I was like, mm, I don't even know what you mean. I don't even know what that is. It looks like, but like you think I'm powerful and I don't understand what that is. And, um, you know, I have an idea of what they were talking about. And obviously they were talking about the fact that, oh, wow, but you've gone and do that. You've gone and do that. You've gone and do that, which is totally, I mean, a good thing for me to have gone and do, done things that, um, are good to inspire others but all these powerful women that we see on a daily basis the problem is that they are human and i mean right now you guys are here i just see all of you probably everyone that just looked in now it's a woman and you guys are powerful women but the thing is that you are human and as much as you are powerful oh this in me so at least it's not only <laughs> <laughs> women in this chat <laughs> um so the fact that you are power you are powerful and you've gone out and you've put yourself out there doesn't mean that you are not human that you are just like the rock that has been talked about with the our oh no we are not rocks definitely we are not we we are very very powerful but we are not uh rocks um uh yeah we we are human so as much as people can say to you you are a powerful woman and they mean that you have done amazing things that's the the truth of the matter is that you are human and it is that you are going through a lot of things so normally um uh, uh women that are between the ages so now this is just like general you might be in this age range but this might not apply to you or you might be in another age range but this applies to you but normally women that are between 30 and 45 are the are, you know between those age um that that age um a category it's women who are really at their peak it is where you learn so much it is where you implement so much it is where you find so much about you between 30 and 45 and in that age um, uh, 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 range, you find that you really do the most. But a lot of women get exhausted during that time because they are just doing, 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 and they finish themselves. Literally, they finish themselves. They, they are mothers, they are wives, they are bosses, they are all sorts of things in life. And they are known to be powerful they are known to be amazing but they also finish themselves normally when a woman is 45 and above you find them being like that fuck of one a fuck of woman that one that says you know what i don't care anymore i've seen too much in life i've been abused and misused i've been this and this and this and they normally um are easy to get into relationships they, they are just like they, they've had too much of life that they are tired they're sick and tired they're like i don't want to know i don't want to hear about it i've had enough of life all of you go to hell 
So after 45, lots of women send people right to hell, like go, 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 because they've had enough. So that whole thing of being powerful, after that 45 to 50 age, nobody actually like still think that you are powerful. Very, um, I think the women that um, used up that first, that other part just before the 45, that used it up in a way, better way where they did not get to 45 and feel like fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. They, they probably go in with that same vibe of being that impactful person, that um, is powerful woman thing. That's what it's called, being powerful, you know, yeah, impactful. So now... I have seen that in a lot of my clients. I've seen that in my friends. I normally have all the friends. I don't know why that happens, but I promise you my, one of my best friends, she's 63. <laughs> and like, like we get like on like fire. So, and, and I, I see this, uh, this trend so many times. But I want to talk to the 30 to 45 year olds because I'm also in that range. And I understand exactly what we go through, that life beats us up so much in that time that when we get to the part where we're supposed to even shine better, our life is now dim because there's nothing in us. We are finished, thoroughly finished. So mostly women that are in that age of being powerful. So when I say powerful, I mean you are out there, you're doing the most. You have your amazing job. You're doing well at your job. You're getting the... the, 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 the uh, promotions you are starting your business you've started your business you're doing well you are growing your income you're doing all these things you are fa you're starting a family you are being a mom you are being all these things all these powerful things that when people look at you and be like yes she's she definitely doing life she's definitely doing life but at the same time if you don't take care of you during that age range you are going to be finished when you get to 45. You, you would not have anything in you if you are not careful. Because a lot of women, that is why I teach feminine energy. A lot of women are using their masculine energy and they just like pack their feminine energy somewhere. Now, when you're using your masculine energy, it's good because it gets things done. But again, it doesn't help you as a woman to use your masculine energy it actually is like uhamba one um the whole time from pretoria to Jobek. you 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 are too, putting too much energy you are putting energy that you shouldn't be putting you are actually just killing yourself but it feels like you're moving but if you are moving at like year one from job Pretoria to Jobek, you can imagine. I mean, like, it's real about the thing of the, the, the river is streaming downstream and you going upward. You are against the, 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 the flow. You are against the, the sweet, smooth sailing. You are really, 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 really doing the most in the real sense of that. So if you're going to be using one, only gear one from Pretoria to Jobek, when you get to Jobek, the car is going to be finished. There is not going to be a car by the time you get to Jobek. So that is what a lot of women do because they, do, they pack their feminine energy and they're using this masculine energy. Now, this masculine energy is an energy that was meant for men because men, number one, one, one thing that I've, I've taught a lot of women is that the way women stress and the way men stress is totally different. When a woman is stressing, her whole entire stress and all that happens with that stress goes directly to her emotions and which means that it causes cancer it causes womb problems it causes depression and everything under the sun that is just ready to kill her but when a man stresses his uh, stress doesn't go to his emotion it goes to his head so when it gets there, it looks for solutions to problems. That is why every time you talk to a guy, they, they want to solve your problem. They're never going to listen and be like, oh, yeah, I get you. I mean, we as women tell another one a problem and you'll be like, yeah, let's go now. And, and, and you know, we, we do it in the, we, we take it up in, in the emotional side while men take it up in the 
mental side, which means that they already finding a solution to this problem. We were not made like that. We were made to put things in the heart while guys were made to put things in the head. Now, when a guy is finding a, a, a challenge, he already knows that he must find a solution to it, to that um, challenge. It's because masculine energy is about doing, but then feminine energy is about creating. When a woman faces a challenge, she doesn't have answers to the problem. But what normally a woman will do is that she will create a way out of that. But when you are forcing to make things happen, not make, creating things, you are then using your, 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 your masculine energy only and that is what kills you. So when you see that this house doesn't, uh, I mean, um, we need to pay the bond and you think, oh no, I'll get a job and pay the bond because I mean, he, he's my husband or whatever. He ends less, I'll pay the bond. So many, th so many times I hear a woman come to me and say, I pay the bond because he ends less. I pay the bond because this is this. And, and, and yeah, I, I'll pay it because you know I can. Okay, fine, that's good. Do it. But the thing is that don't complain that your husband cannot pay a bond three, five, ten years later because you made him to not even want to pay it because you pay it. Now, I always say, you know what, if a person that you stay with, you know that they will never switch on the lights. You will come back home to switch on the lights earlier because you know that person is useless almost <laughs> to switching on the lights. But if you know this person, you'll find them switching, the lights are on, everything. You will never worry. So a lot of men have been made to not want to exercise their masculine energy because nobody gives them a challenge. Nobody challenges them to say, by the way, uh, the next level is this. Only the women can see the next level. Guys don't see the next level. Guys do, are not interested in the next level. Guys are only happy with solving the woman's problem. So imagine if the woman came and say, oh, you know, I just saw these amazing houses. They are opening a new um, a site that other what what um, and these houses are amazing. Oh my goodness, I would love to have one day. And and this woman is not saying I am I don't like my current house. She's not saying you are so useless. You can't buy me a new house. She's not saying I'm I'm complaining about anything. She's just saying, oh wow, there's a new thing. Guess what? This guy, he's he's he's. This is a challenge now because you're saying there's something you want. He's not gonna put it in his emotions. He's gonna put it in the head which the head is going to say, what else can I do to make sure that she goes and stay in that house? He doesn't want to stay in the house. He doesn't care about that new house. He just wants to solve your problem of wanting the house. So women don't do that anymore. She sees the house. She already goes and, get, and applies for the bond. Guess what? Oh, no, I found the bond. We have a new house now. The guy's like, oh, okay. Ah, it's okay then. Wow. All right. So that's it. The, the, the guys are not given challenge. They, if you, Once the woman is tired, she's going to start making drama. She's going to start like, oh, by the way, I'm the one who does things here. Nobody wants to help me. She's going to be saying it in that way, which doesn't help anything now because she's just dramatic. So when a woman understands that her feminine energy is about creating and she's using those years of her life to create and to create and to create what she does is that she creates a legacy what she does is that she creates something that will never die and those are the years where you are having all the energy all the mental alertness all the physical um, ability to make those things happen you need to be making those things happen in those years because you have the ability to do it then. But when you are using that thing of moving with one from Jobek to Pretoria, you are going to get to Jobek with no car. It's going to be finished. doesn't matter what car it is. It, there will not be a car because you, 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 you've misused it. So a lot of women, um, are, are, they, they, they just don't know where to start with this feminine energy. 
yeah, wow, we'll see, I get it. I probably have been a man in my life and I've not been getting the benefits of being a woman because there are so many benefits of being a woman, but we, we, never, we are never interested in the benefits of being a woman. The benefits of being a woman is that you tell people what to do and they do it. The benefits of being a woman is that you run the world. You literally run the world. Now, every, every successful man that you know today, Bill Gates and whoever, there's a woman behind their success. You sit them down, you ask them, they will tell you that I couldn't have done this without that woman. Even Donald Trump, you can ask him, what, whoever else you're thinking of asking that is successful as a man, there is a woman behind him. Now, men can never, ever, ever succeed without a woman behind them. Which means that anything that you see in this world that is good and successful and that has been made by men is actually a woman who made that. She created that on behalf of everybody. You know, like, and, and a woman who's in her feminine power, she doesn't even want to be in the newspaper because she understands her power. She's like, oh, wow, the newspaper, I made that. You know, the newspaper, you, you think it's a newspaper, I made that. All the people will be like, oh, you need to bring 50% to the table. You'll be looking at our table. I made the table. You want me to bring 50% to the table that I made. So when you have that feminine awareness, that feminine power, you understand how powerful you are. You understand that you tell people what to do and they jump to that. Now, let me give you an example of what do I mean. So, I mean, when you are in the corporate space and, 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 and I think that if nobody wants to use this feminine energy, women that are in the corporate space need it the most. Because that is where women are really abused. In the corporate space, that's where women get depression. That's where women come back with their cancer. That's where women leave their careers, that are, that are, they are booming careers. To They leave them because they are tired. They, they've been abused so much in the, in, the, in the corporate world. Now, in the corporate world, we all have seen the one that nobody wants uh, her to do anything because that one she's gonna break she's gonna break anytime if she ever says she's sick she's sent home quickly if she ever um has has needs something to be done everybody wants to help her because we, we all that one can't do if there's a big project that people need to stay late and that nobody will ask her let this one go she 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 can't handle these things but let her one day come with an idea and say, you know, guys, I thought we could do this. Everybody stops working, stops and be like, what? What, what just happened? What is she saying? Oh, my God, Gandhi, wow. And then that idea, I promise you, that idea will be implemented to the fullest. And that idea, will, nobody's going to steal it from her. Nobody's ever going to take um, uh, ownership of it. But she will never lift her hand to put anything towards implementing that idea. She will just say it and people will be shocked and people will run and make it happen. And she will just continue being, wow, I'm here, I'm wonderful, yay. <laughs> so uh, you all have seen this. And everybody wants to take care of her. Everybody listens to what she says. Everybody's just at her, at her call. She earns more than everybody probably. She earns a salary that everybody's like, why? But why? What does she do? So that is feminine energy because whenever she opens her mouth, everybody wants to listen. Whenever she wants support, everybody wants to help. Whenever she, 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 she has a need, everybody wants to meet it. Now, if you are a woman, a powerful woman that has your feminine energy on point, you will speak in your house and you will see people panic, not because they are scared of you, but because they're like, oh my God, she needs this. We must get it. We must make it. So you'll find that your husband, your, your, your partner, your boyfriend finds the thing that you want within no time because they must make you happy. Apparently, you're going to die if you don't get this. Like, it's that hectic that you need to have this. So, you will find that in the workplace. When you say you want a salary increase, everybody's just going to understand that you need it because, wow, you know, you will die if you don't get one. <laughs> and um, so, you, you, could, you could choose to be the one that is told to work 
overnight. You are one, the, the one that's supposed to work over everything and never get paid enough and never be valued and never be taken serious. When you come up with ideas, nobody wants to do them, but everybody wants you to do the, all the hard work. And then you keep doing more and more and hoping that they will finally understand your value. And maybe one day they will, you will get uh, um, rewarded for that. You could try that. Literally, that might work. One day they will finally see it. But how long is, is that? It might take 10 years. It, you might just go through all, the whole time range that we talked about between 30 and 45. Just trying to get one uh, position up that um, ladder that you want to climb. And you, by the time you get to that position, you are exhausted because you've been abused so much. And you think that is the people. No, it's not the people. It's you. You are not using your power. So as much as... Uh, you, you, I mean, I'm not saying you should go here being stupid and stuff and like, you know, being a bimbo type vibe. I mean, um, the, the, I mean, the one thing that we all have seen is lay queens. Lay queens use their feminine energy to the maximum. They know that I just have to be beautiful and sit down and smile and I, I say how much I want. And I get it. But the thing about a slay queen is that slay queens then miss the part where they're supposed to use their masculine energy. Because as a woman, you use your feminine energy, but you still need your masculine energy. Because a slay queen, the problem with a slay queen is that they can never be able to take care of themselves. So now a slay queen literally only uses her feminine energy. And it works. She doesn't have to lift a finger. She doesn't have to go to a job ever. She just like tell people what she wants and how much she wants and people give it to her. But because she, she totally then disregard her masculine energy, she can never take care of herself. She can never know how to buy her own car, how to buy her own house, how to, how to you know, function by herself. Because then she totally shut off her masculine energy. So, which is not a good thing again because like yeah once you have only the masculine energy it's a problem because a lot of powerful women do that but once you have uh all only the the, the feminine energy then you become a stay queen and then there's things that you miss out on in life like meaning for life like you know other things that are so important so you want to mix it up so that you truly shine and you shine for long you shine forever literally you know you you shine all your life you you are able to get those things done so when you've mixed up nicely the feminine and the masculine you are able to do more than you can ever understand but when you're just doing the masculine you are going to get exhausted and you are going to get cut for you are going to be that 50 year old that says all of you go to hell and you are no longer adding value because you have you know you are tired or you're going to be then um um, um the the slave queen who, who can't uh, make anything in her life to work but just be there and keep receiving and keep receiving and keep receiving so when I teach women about feminine energy I'm saying to you you need to know how to channel your femininity and when you're channeling a femininity in those situations, in the boardroom, in those situations when you're needing clients for your business, in those situations where you need people to really value you so that they can buy the product you have at the price they should be buying it, then that is where you want to keep using your feminine energy. And it's not about wearing a pink dress. It is not about how... Um, you 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 interact as in a girl vibe you don't have to have that it's not about that feminine energy is about how you think it's about your emotions when you know that i'm a woman and as a woman these are my benefits as a woman these are the things that um i need to click these are the buttons i am needing to click in life to make things work then that's it that's it you do not have to have I don't know what makeup on so that you're feminine no it's not about that and and a lot of people have said that it's about that and it's not um, i mean those things you can do if you want to do them 
I mean, I put on makeup because it's art for me. It just helps me with my sacred chakra every time I do it. You know, I, I, that part of me is, is nurtured. But it's, it has nothing to do with my feminine. My feminine is in my head. I know that when I walk into a room, what do I bring into this room? I know that when I'm in a project and I'm sitting around people, what is it that I bring into that? In a conversation, what do I bring into that? Because we multiply everything. When you, when, when, when you have your feminine in check, you multiply everything you give it. So that is why you need to have a husband that understands or a boyfriend or whoever that you are with that understands what you, your, 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 your power and obviously you, you teach them what is it so that whatever that they have, you can multiply. Whatever that you, you have, you can get into their head and help them multiply that in a good way that makes this relationship work or make this re marriage work. I mean, we all have heard that no woman is ever going to respect a man that cannot be able to show up as that provider. Why is that? Because that man, does, it means that he doesn't have a seed for her to grow. Because, I mean, we all know no woman is ever going to get a baby be before she gets a seed from a man. A man was given the seed. So he must give the woman the seed to multiply. So if a guy comes to you and there's no seed, you can't deal. Because you need to give me a seed. You need to give me something to work with. So that is why when you become the one with the seed in the relationship, everything goes south. Because you're supposed to be multiplying whatever that is coming in. So in relationship, that is it. But in the, in, in, in the working area, in the, in the working world, it is all about that power of allowing yourself to stand in the way of creation. So if the business needs to have more income coming in, you are the one. But you're not supposed to be the one who does the work. You are the one who brings in the ideas. You are the one who, who sees where things need to change. I mean, all over the world, it's been said that women businesses, they, they, they are more profitable, they are more sustainable, they do more good. What does that mean? It means that women businesses are the ones where there is create, there's multiplication. Way much application happens there. So, but it cannot happen. The multiplication cannot happen if you are in there, you are trying to be a man. You are running the man show. You are trying to be the man manager. You are trying to be the man business owner. You are trying to, um, to, 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 to beat your husband at paying the bond. You are trying to make things happen in your house because, hey, there's no electricity. We can't stay in the dark. Oh, my God, what is this? I'm going to go and find the money. No, you sit there. You sit there in the dark. You wait. You, you, you sit there. You wait. And the more you sit there, you wait with a smile, you will be shocked what will happen. Because there, you are allowing the multiplication to happen. You are literally there to allow the multiplication to happen. So, I mean, um, next week, next week, Saturday, we're having a, 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 a retreat, a whole day retreat, 1 August. And I thought, I mean, August is the perfect time to celebrate women. But maybe we just need to celebrate it by stepping into our power. So on the first of August, we're having this amazing retreat. It's going to be for a whole day. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys things that I've learned over the past probably 20 years. From practical things that you do to visualize up your, your, your feminine energy from rituals, from all spiritual stuff that are practical, but also from a emotional level there's a lot of healing that we need to do if you've been paying bonds you need to heal from that if you've been making things happen you need to be healing from that so we're gonna do a lot of healing from all those things that you've already done wrong if you've been a man for the past 30 years please you need to give yourself some love and some forgiveness so that you can move on you can't be doing that you can't be that man so Make sure that you come through, join us. It's on Zoom, so you, the whole day you can be in your pajamas, in your bed, and be with us in this workshop. We're going to be meditating. We're going to be doing all sorts of amazing things. Well, probably most weird things, really. Um, You'll forgive me. <laughs> but we're going to be doing a whole lot of uh, stuff on, on Saturday, next week, Saturday, on the 1st of August. Healing and putting this feminine energy in place in our lives so that you do not 
go with one from Jobek to, to from from Pretoria to Jobek and then killing yourself in the process and then finally losing out on having that legacy, losing out on on building a legacy for your kids, on on building amazing things for your kids because you're tired. You're fucking tired because, wow, I have been going through life and try, trying to make things happen and I've had to fight so many battles. There are so many battles that you shouldn't be fighting. When you have feminine energy, you don't fight battles. You have never seen a woman go to war. When there was wars, women stayed at home. You don't go to war when you are, you are in feminine feminine energy power but you control the war at home where you are you controlling the war because women will sit in their um cycles um uh, uh, during uh, during their periods and they will send uh, intention they will send prayers to those people to those men that are in the war and they will get the the work done and they will come home with the the victory the money obviously at that time they were fighting to get more land or this and this and that. So you want to understand what it is that you're doing that you should stop doing, what it is that you need to start doing to be in your feminine power so that you don't lose at the end or you do not um, lose now and lose your mojo in making things happen in your life because you are fighting too much, because you are putting yourself as the cornerstone of making things happen in your home in 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 your company in 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 your organization it's not right guys it's just not right and i see women do this all the time so i i i i, I do energy healing for energy healing for women where all their chakras are totally dead because they've been they've been trying to be men they've been men like really thoroughly full-blown men and they are sick and all things are just going south because they are not using the one important thing that God gave us, which is our feminine energy. So you don't want, definitely you don't want to be a slave queen and just have the feminine energy all by itself. But you definitely want to mix it up nicely. You want to have a nice balanced uh, package of feminine and masculine. But then all the powerful women just forget about I mean, all the powerful women, they're paying bonds. They, um, there's nothing wrong with paying bond, a bond, but you should pay it for the right reasons, <laughs> not the wrong ones. All these powerful women are taking loans for people every day. Oh, my goodness, he needs to hey, start a business. I can just work and, and do this and pay the loan. You know wh why? 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 I mean, that person has a mother. That ma their mother is maybe alive or dead, but they have a mother somewhere. Why are you doing this? And you only have 30 to 45. So it's 15 years. Why are you doing this? So now those are the things you're going to be working through. And you need to forgive yourself for a whole lot of this stuff. And you, so that you can be able to stop them. So that you can be able, and, and I mean, um, I've seen people move from the, the worst of the worst and go back to the right. And they don't even have to change um, uh, the, the, the partner. They just start to treat themselves in a way that those people change treating them in a certain way. So you literally, again, teach people how to treat you. Literally, you do that. And we as women are the best people to do that. We teach people every day. I mean, we, we raise babies. We teach those people how to live life. So we are so good at, being t at teaching people. So you don't even have to change the partner. You, don't, you just level up and you teach them that now I'm in another level. So this is what we do in this level. And then they move on with you. And some people cannot be able to level up with you. So those are the people that you're going to be like, bye, um, I can't do this. Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm leveling. And if you're not coming, you know what? I don't have time for this. But very, very few times you'll find a, a, a person a guide no, or a, a, a partner not leveling up with you because all they are they've been made to do is just follow the wife literally that's what they have been made to do so they they normally men don't normally have a problem leveling up once you are up there they just come quickly so a lot of people are women are scared that oh if i get better i might lose him no you won't if you get better by using your feminine energy he's just gonna follow the the, the you saw like a dog how a dog sniffs its, its way the, it, that was what was gonna happen <laughs> i did not say anybody's a dog <laughs> but you know if the shoe fits <laughs> my goodness wow so 
But what I say to you, do not be scared. When your partner sees you leveling up, they will follow quickly. It wouldn't take them any time. They will just be there quickly, quickly. They will get onto the program quickly, quickly. They will fix their lives quickly, quickly. They will be there right next to you. So don't be scared of, oh my, maybe they, they, they wouldn't catch up quickly then. I'll be alone and, you know, now amazing and alone. No, it's never going to happen. Don't worry. So, any questions, guys, before I say goodnight? So, if you want to come through to the workshop next week, please send an email, pa at busiselisho.com, or send a WhatsApp message. I'll post the poster. It's, uh, yeah, it's a number. It's a WhatsApp number. <laughs> I know many forget it. So, but you can use the email, pa at busiselisho.com. Come through next Saturday, and we're going to have, like, oof, there's, there's going to be limited space because there's a lot of work we need to be doing so i need to give everybody attention so yeah make sure that you rsvp in time so that your space is is, is kept um for next week uh, saturday okay let me read your comments oh there's so many uh they were not showing up wow this is a lot of comments okay so um, uh Tenny says yes i have a friend who gets everything she wants of course we know them people right we know them 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 very 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 um uh, clever ladies <laughs> Daphne, hey, hey, hey girl i haven't seen you in a long time Daphne says life begins at 40. <laughs> true story uh hi Aki, hi carol uh, Kuku says, my life begins in four years. <laughs> oh, okay, Kuku. You're close. You're very, very close. Um, Chantel say, uh, Busi, please, Mina, I need a session with you, please. So, Chantel, that would be great. Let's do a session. Uh, send me an email, uh, pa at busiselesha.com. My PA will just give you a time that is available. Then we can do a session. Um, I want to see the questions. Uh, hey, Oma Viwe. Oma Viwe says, <laughs> you're burning clutch. <laughs> yeah, definitely you're burning a clutch if you are using your masculine energy all by itself. You need to mix it up with that feminine. Daphne says, Busi, this is very powerful. It is the heart of God. Thank you so much, babes, for watching. And a lady says, uh, oh, the lady is calling a friend. <laughs> see ya, hey, see ya, see ya, see ya, see ya. See So guys, please click on the share button so that other kids can also see this talk. It's a very important thing to think about as a woman. So Lisa says, I love how you express the message, Busi. Thank you so much, Zolisa. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Google says, mind blowing stuff, Zolisa says many women allow themselves to be in a space of being providers yeah girl we are the multiplier of the seed we receive the seed as small as it is it doesn't have to be billions it doesn't have to be millions it doesn't have to be thousands whatever seed that there is we make it amazing so it's not even about how much this person has they must just have a seed and other people don't have a seat because they come through saying, oh, no, I'm not here to provide. So oh, the ones that say I'm not here to provide, they don't understand the situation. The ones that they say I don't have, but there's a little that I have. Those are the ones that you can work with. Yeah, those you can work with. But the ones that are just like, hmm, me, me, I want to know what is in the table. What are you bringing to the table? Ah, those ones, those ones, they need Jesus. Jesus himself must come here and talk to, him, talk to them. <laughs> So Lisa says, many times men are more capable than we give them credit. Oh, yeah. Men have been created with the capability power. Men can do anything in this planet. Only if they listen very carefully to the women. Of course, they must listen carefully to the women. But, but men have been given the capability power of making things happen. But they just don't use that power themselves, which is the women. But like I said, every, every, everyone, every successful men they will tell you the truth that it's the woman you see me you see me me out here it's the woman so yeah um tennessee is this happened to me in my previous campaign i'm sure <laughs> yeah 
Uh, da, 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 da. Oh my goodness, oh guys, I am looking for the questions. Wow, thank you so much, guys. Zhbusi being broke and seatless is not attractive at all. Yeah, no, it's not even about being broke. You just have to have a seat. And a seat is not even like money. A seat is knowing and appreciating this woman. So if you have a man that doesn't appreciate you, that is him. He can come with billions. If he doesn't appreciate you, he does not have a seat. He must appreciate you, honor you, like literally treat you like a, a, a glass that any time can be broken. That's a man with a seat. The man that is not going to make you cry and, 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 and do stuff, and that is the man with a seat. But then men don't understand, and he must be willing. He must be willing to be the, the leader. He must be willing to, be the, to, to do things that needs to be done. But he must also understand that you are the powerhouse that is praying for him, that is putting the intentions for him. I mean, even right now, it's new moon. Um, I probably by now uh, my YouTube channel is loaded the video I uh, loaded it during the day today it was just taking long to load but we're talking about the same thing I mean there's there's the stuff that you're supposed to be doing that is rituals when you're doing those rituals you're not just doing them for yourself you're doing them for him those rituals he might not be doing them but the moment you do them they affect him so much they affect his next me next day meetings they affect everything about his life that is the power we have we just have to say what's next, what car next, what house next, what um, holiday. And they make it happen because we are there to help them because that's the whole point. God created a whole helper for a man. But men are not taking the helper serious, so it's their loss. <laughs> uh, so Karisa says, you don't have to wait and complain Wait with a smile. <laughs> True story. Okay. Uh, Maureen says, how do you use this feminine energy? So, girl, that is what we are definitely going to be going deep. I've got a YouTube ch a video that I've done two weeks back. It's about money and feminine energy. I've shared a lot of things there. Please check it on my YouTube channel, Maureen. It's Busise Leisho. Just video number three on my youtube channel is is money and feminine energy so i'm i'm literally giving you the like steps that you can use now tomorrow so check that out i will not be sharing it because it's gonna take forever and i've been talking <laughs> for the first probably i don't know how long now so please check on my youtube channel that video it's called money and feminine energy Please check that out. But please, Maureen, if you can, come through to the workshop next week, next week on the 1st of August, next week, Saturday. Now, lady says I was once a man took a load. <laughs> I took a load. Ask is Ask is na lady. Bongas. That person, if you never took up the loan, they would have gone and made the money. Because guess what? They, there's no loan. They would have made the money and they will be a better person today. But no problem. Now you know. So every time uh, women become men, men don't know what to be. They just don't know what to be anymore. So, yeah. So Lisa says, um, I've taken a lot of <laughs> loans for people. <laughs> so, so that's why I'm saying we need to heal. There's so many mistakes we've made. There's so many hateful things we've done to ourselves like these things of taking loans and all this type of stuff so we need to heal from those things so that you can be able to then step onto this power um boss says i need to level up yes when i kill yes when i kill you need to level up because the whole family the kids the whoever they'll be following you following you to that level Following you to that level, I was telling uh, my friends during the, the, the weekend, we had a hiking thing. And I was saying, you know, I never used to care about my skin, you know, in a more tense way. I would just be like that person who just, you know, uses face wash and cream done. So then uh, I started to, um, uh, when I entered Mrs. South Africa, they, when was it? Yeah. So, but I started to really care about my skin. So I started to do like, boom, my three, five, six steps of skincare every night. 
And I mean, at first it was like, oh my God, this is so much work. But then my skin just like started to, you know, do all of those things. And then guess what? My whole entire family followed. My husband started to do all that stuff with me. And then he was like, oh, my skin is getting really good. And then he, now he, his skin is perfect. My daughter, same thing. Now everybody's like, oh my God, you guys look so good. But guess what? I leveled up and they, I never said to them, guys, come do your skin. No, 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 no. They saw me leveling up. Then you're like, ooh, this thing, yeah, cool. let's try it. I mean, there was one day we actually took a family photo. Everybody was having a mask on, uh, this mask way that you peel. Everybody had it from the husband to the smallest baby. And everybody was like, we want the mask, we want the mask. I never asked them. Actually, they waste my products. <laughs> so this one is laughing at me <laughs> because you can remember. <laughs> Go in bath. <laughs> so they all leveled up. Literally, they all leveled up. So, yeah, you don't have to talk too much. They will come through fast, very fast. Zamo, thank you for watching. Zamo says, thank you. It was a very interesting topic. Maureen says, um, okay, I've already answered that. Uh, oh, thank you so much, guys. Kolo says this is refreshing and super relevant. Thanks, Busi. Uh, Bongiwe says, Aish, our moms who went through the struggle teach us to grow up wanting to be a man. I'm tired of being a man. Yeah, I know, Bongiwe. Definitely our moms also just, that's how they had to uh, survive life. And um, and you can look at our moms. They, they got beaten up. I mean, our moms at, at the age of 40, they looked so old because they were tired. They had done too much. So, girls, we have no time looking. At 50, we need to be looking. Hallelujah. At 60, we need to be looking the part. Guys, I mean, I'm not coming. I'm not coming to being old. At 60, I'm going to be looking like, oh my Jesus, what touched you? What power touched you, girl? <laughs> and I'm going to be saying I'm 60. People will be like, are you sure? <laughs> so, because when you, when, you, when you allow your feminine energy, you will not get old. Because guess what? You'll be making life happen. You'll be creating. You wouldn't be working and doing all the things that you're not supposed to be doing. Um, okay. Tenny says, we we'll see this is true. That wearing orange and eating. Is it true that wearing orange and eating oranges can open your feminine chakra? Oh, the sacral chakra. Well, you know what? There's a whole lot of things you can do, and definitely orange is the, 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 the color that activates our sacred chakra. Our sacred chakra is to do with manifestation and pleasure and all good things. But feminine energy is not just about one chakra. Feminine energy is the whole chakra system. So you must have security to not panic. And then you must have the pleasure and the manifestation. And you must have will. Like I said, if you're a slave queen, then you wouldn't have like a no, you know, like, you know, yeah. So you must have, then you must have your heart chakra open. Then you must, all the chakras must be in line. So, but sacred chakra also just helps you to be more connected to the pleasurable things in life, which definitely every human being wants to come to a woman role. That amazing happiness and, and pleasure. It's so nice to be in the, in, in, in the company of a a woman that has femininity because it feels warm, it feels like um, heaven, it feels like comfort. When you have a feminine woman around you, you just want to stay there. You don't want to go anywhere. You don't want to go and chill with your friends the whole weekend because, my goodness, you have that feminine woman. You look at her and you just see Jesus. <laughs> Okay, so Daphne says, powerful YouTube video, money and feminine energy. Thank you, thank you, um, Daphne. Daphne has watched that. Uh, Maureen says, please share email. Okay, so the email is pa at busiselecture.com. Please just, Daphne, I'm going to post my, 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 the details on my wall right now. When we finish this, please just check it also. My, but the, PA, the, the, the email is that one. I'm also just going to type it up in the comment section here um so you'll get that uh any more questions guys oh there there's definitely uh definitely type it out thank you so much label says i'm learning a lot here thank you so much guys for watching so let's let's please promise each other that we will stop being men 
that it's not okay. It's, it's just, we will just know that it's not okay to be a man. It is okay to be a woman and create and multiply and make things happen and tell the whole world what to do. But it's not okay to be a man. That doesn't save the world. It doesn't save nobody because you're going to kill yourself and we don't want to lose you. We just don't want to lose more women. Okay. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please click on the share button that other children know. If you need anything from me, send me an inbox or send me an email. PA at Busiselisha.com. Thank you so much, guys. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely evening. I'm so happy that we got to chat this evening. Thank you so much. Have a lovely evening. Bye.